بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم پروفیسر ہولا صدیقی ایڈوکیٹ اور پاک لا گائڈ کے چینل سے خوش آمدید ایجوکیشنسٹ سرٹیفائڈ کاؤنسلر ٹرینر سوشل رائٹ ایکٹیوسٹ ایک دفعہ پھر آپ سب کی خدمت میں پاک لا گائڈ کی ٹیم حاضر ہے پاک لا گائڈ کا یہ چینل خصوصی طور پر قوانین اور حقوق سے آگاہی حاصل کرنے کے لیے ڈیزائن کیا گیا ہے جس سے نہ صرف طلبا بلکہ عام شخص بھی قوانین پاکستان کے متعلق بھرپور آگاہی حاصل کر سکتا ہے ایک نئے ٹاپک پر آج جانکاری حاصل کرنے سے پہلے سبسکرائب کرنا اور بیل آئیکن دبانا مت بھولیں تو چلیں چلتے ہیں آج پھر ایک نئے ٹاپک کی طرف پراپرٹی لاس رجسٹریشن اے سی ٹی ون نائن زیرو ایٹ انٹروڈکشن ان آرڈر ٹو ریٹین اے ڈاکیومنٹ ایز اے میٹر آف پبلک ریکارڈ اٹ مسٹ بی رجسٹرڈ ود اے ڈیزیگنیٹڈ اتھارٹی The Act's main goal is to codify existing registration-related laws, and it also specifies how to register things. It specifies the paperwork needed to register. Additionally, it establishes a deadline for the document's presentation and registration, and it guarantees that the necessary conditions are in place for the document's correct presentation. Registration is the procedure through which all the documents are recorded by a recognized officer along with other necessary information to ensure its transparency and authenticity. Rules and regulations pertaining to document registration are outlined in the Registration Act of 1908. The Registration Act of 1908 has detailed regulations defining the establishment that may register documents, namely the registrar and subregistrars, the deeds that must be registered, such as sales deeds, when and where they must be registered, and many other subtleties. It deals with the enactments relating to the registration of documents. This act came into force on 18th December 1908. It is an act to consolidate the enactments relating to the registration of documents. This act has a total of 93 sections and 15 parts. The purpose of this act is to ensure that the registration process is commenced in a proper and legal way to give people information regarding their legal rights and obligations, to prevent fraud, and to properly ensure the preservation and record of documents. Part 1. Preliminary 1. Short Title and Commencement This act may be called the Registration Act 1908. It extends to the whole of Pakistan except such districts as the provincial government excludes from its operation. 2. Definitions District court includes high court in its original civil jurisdiction. Endorsement applying to an entry in writing by registering officer covering slip to any document tendered for registration under this act. Immovable property includes lands and buildings, things attached to the earth. does not include standing timber, fruit upon, and machinery embedded or attached to the earth. Lease includes counterpart and an undertaking to cultivate and occupy. Movable property, property or every description, except a movable property. Part 2 of the Registration Establishment 3. Inspector General of Registration The provincial government shall appoint an officer to be the Inspector General. Five districts and sub-districts. Provincial government shall form districts and sub-districts. Six registrars and sub-registrars. Provincial government may appoint public officers who are duly qualified for holding these posts. Seven offices of registrar and sub-registrar. The provincial government shall establish in every district and sub-district an office. Eight inspectors of registration office. Provincial government may also appoint officers to be called inspectors of registration office. Part 3 of Registrable Documents 17 documents of which registration is compulsory. The documents that shall be registered include Instruments of the gift of immovable property Other non-testamentary instruments Non-testamentary instruments that purport to create, declare, assign, limit or extinguish leases of immovable property and d non-testamentary instruments transferring or assigning any decree or order of a court or any award in order to create interests as mentioned in clause c 
18 documents of which registration is optional. Instruments, other than instruments of gift and will. Instruments acknowledging the receipt or payment of any consideration. Leases of immovable property for a term not exceeding one year. Instruments transferring or assigning any decree or order of court or award or interest of a value less than 100 rupees. Wills. 19 documents in language not understood by registering officer. If any document is in a language not understood by registering officer, he shall refuse to register it unless accompanied by a translation used in the district. 21. Description of property. No non-testamentary document shall be accepted for registration unless it contains a description of such property. Section 17. 1 of the Act provides for mandatory registration of certain documents which are as follows. Gift deed of immovable property. Non-testamentary documents signifying any operation, declaration, assignment, limitation and extinguishment of any right, title or interest in immovable property worth rupees 100 and above. Non-testamentary instruments granting receipt or payment of any consideration on account of creation, limitation, Assignment, declaration or termination of such right, title or interest. Leases of such immovable property for a term exceeding one year or reservation of yearly rent. Non-testamentary documents conveying or assigning any decree or award of the court involving creation, declaration, assignment, limitation or extinguishment of any right, title or interest in an immovable property worth rupees 100 and above. The documents of contracts regarding transfer of any immovable property for consideration for the purpose of Section 53A of the Transfer of Property Act, 1882 that has been executed on or after the inception of registration and other related laws amendment Act, 2001. Optional Registration of Documents Section 18 of this Act lists the following documents that may be registered under this Act. Adoption Deed Instruments which relate to share in joint stock company. Debenture issued by joint stock company. Endorsement upon or transfer of debenture, which is issued by joint stock company. Decree or order of the court involving creation, declaration, assignment and extinguishment of any right, title or interest in an immovable property of value less than 100 rupees. Document of past transaction. Wills. Grant of immovable property by the government. Instrument of collateral security. Power of attorney. Agreement to sell. Agreement of mortgage. Certificate of sale. Counterpart of lease. Promissory note. Leases of immovable property not exceeding one year and leases excluded under Section 17. Part 4 of the time of presentation. 23. Time for presenting documents. A document other than a will must be presented within four months of its execution. These limits are mandatory. If the delay is due to the act of court, it has to be disregarded. 23a. Re-registration of certain documents, situation where original presentation was by a person not duly authorized. 24. Documents executed by several persons at different times. These documents may be presented for registration and re-registration within four months from the date of its execution. Part 5 of the Place of Registration 28. Place for registering documents relating to land, documents affecting immovable property shall be presented for registration in the office of subregistrar within whose subdistrict the whole or some portion of relevant property is situated. 29. Place of registering other documents may be presented for presentation either in the office of the subregistrar in whose subdistrict it was executed. WHO can apply for registration. According to Section 32 of this Act, all documents to be registered under this Act must be presented at the proper registration office by some person executing or claiming under the same or in case of a copy of a decree or order. Claiming under the decree or order. Representative of that person. 
representative or assignee of such person who is authorized by power of attorney executed and authenticated in manner hereinafter mentioned. Every person presenting any document shall affix his passport size photograph and fingerprints to the document provided that such document is in relation to transfer of ownership of immovable property. Photographs and fingerprints of both buyer and seller of the property must be mentioned in the document. A will or authority presented by the testator or the donor for registration shall be registered in the same manner as any other document provided that 1. The will was executed by the testator or donor. 2. The testator or donor is dead. 3. The person presenting the will or authority US 40 is permitted to present the same. Part 6. Of Presenting Documents for Registration 32. Persons to present documents registration for includes a. Some person executing or claiming under the same, b. By the representative or a sign of such person or c. By the agent of such person. 33. Power of attorney recognizable for purposes of section 32. Requires that power of attorney, in order to be recognized as giving authority to the agent to get document registered, should be executed before and then authenticated by the registrar within whose district or sub-district the principal resides. Principal who resides outside Pakistan at time of execution of power of attorney cannot get document registered through agent. Persons exempted to attend office of registration are person suffering from bodily injury, person who is in jail, person exempted by law. 34. Enquiry before registration Registering officer shall do enquiry whether the executant is original one, whether alleging person is executant 1, whether alleging person has right to appear. 35. Procedure on admission and denial of execution. Procedure for registration includes if executant appears personally, personal appearing of a representative or agent or if representative or agent admits execution in personal appearance. Grounds for refusal of registering a document includes person who seems to be executant denies execution, if the person appearing is minor or lunatic, if the actual person has died. Part 7. Of enforcing the appearance of executants and witness. 36. Where appearance of executant or witness is desired, any person whose presence or testimony is necessary. 38. Persons exempted from appearance a person in jail, person exempted by law. Part 8. Of presenting wills and authorities to adopt. 40. Persons entitled to present wills and authorities to adopt. 41. Registration of wills and authorities to adopt. Part 9. Deposit and disposal of wills. 42. Deposit of wills. 46. A. Destruction of wills. Part 10. Effects of registration and non-registration. 47. Time from which registered document operates. Registered document shall operate from the time from which it would have commenced to operate if no registration thereof had been required or made, and not from the time of its registration. 49. Effect of non-registration of documents required to be registered. No document relating to registration of document shall a. Operate to create, declare, assign, limit or extinguish, any right, title or interest, whether vested or contingent to or in immovable property or b. Confer any power to adopt, unless it has been registered. Part 11. Duties and powers of registering officers. a. As to the register's books and indexes. 51. Register books to be kept in several offices. 52. Duties of registering officers when document presented. 53. Entries to be numbered consecutively. 54. Current indexes and entries therein. 55. Indexes to be made by registering officers and their contents. 57. To allow inspection of certain books and indexes and to give certified copies of entries. As to the procedure on admitting to registration. 58. Particulars to be endorsed on documents admitted to registration. 59. Endorsements to be dated and signed. 60. Certificate of registration. 
61 endorsements and certificates to be copied and returned. 62 procedure on presenting document in language unknown. 63 power to administer oaths and record of substance of statements. D special duties of registrar. 66 procedure after registration of documents relating to land. 67 procedure after registration under section 32. Part 11A copying of documents by means of photography. 70C Appointment of photo registrars, the government may appoint a registrar or subregistrar or any other person to be a photo registrar for the performance of duties under this part. 70D. Documents may be photographed in areas notified by government. Part 12. Of refusal to register. 71. Reasons for refusal to register to be recorded. Subregistrar may refuse to pass order on grounds that the property is not situated within his subdistrict or document shall be presented for registration in the office of subregistrar. He also bound to provide copy of refusal without any delay to the applicant. 72. Appeal to registrar. Appeal shall lie against an order of a subregistrar refusing to admit a document within 30 days. Registrar may reverse or alter such order. Part 13. Fees for registration, searches and copies. 78. Fees by provincial government. To be fixed provincial government shall prepare a table of fees payable for registration of documents, searching the registers, for issue of commissions, for filing translations, for safe custody and return of documents. Part 14. Penalties. 81. Penalty. Every registering officer and any person employed under his office if charged for incorrectly endorsing, copying, translating, or registering documents with intent to injure, as defined in PPC, shall be punishable with imprisonment for a term which may extend to seven years, or with fine, or both. Part 15. Miscellaneous 85. Destruction of unclaimed documents. Documents unclaimed for a period of two years may be destroyed. 86. Registering officer not liable for thing bona fide. No registering officer shall be liable to any suit claim or demand by reason of anything in good faith or refused in his official capacity. Exemption from Act. 90. Exemption of certain documents executed by or in favor of government, documents issued, received or attested by any officer engaged in making a settlement of land revenue, documents and maps issued received or authenticated by any officer engaged on behalf of government, documents which under any law for the time being in force are filed periodically in any revenue office by Patwaris etc. Effects of Non-Registration of Documents Section 49 of this Act states that No document required to be registered under Section 17 of this Act shall be valid for creation, operation, declaration, limitation and assignment of any right, title or interest in any immovable property unless it's registered within the specified time period. The document shall not confer any power to adopt. The document cannot be received as an evidence of any transaction affecting such property or conferring such power. Registration Fees The required amount of fees must be paid while presentation of documents. S.80 Case Laws In the case of Narinder Singh Rao v. AVM Mahinder Singh Rao Narinder's father had left behind a will stating that his wife could inherit the property. The will that was signed by a single witness wasn't registered and the widow bequeathed the entire property to one of her nine children. The aggrieved children challenged their mother's action in the court stating that the will was invalid and that they too had a right in their father's property. The Supreme Court held that the children had the right to inherit the property as the will was invalid because it was not attested by two witnesses. In the case of Suraj Lambs and Industries PVT. Limited. We, State of Haryana, AIR 2012 SC 206, the court held that an immovable property can be legally transferred only by a registered deed of conveyance and transactions which are in the form of general power of attorney sales or sale by agreement to sell or transfer by will do not confer title, 
and does not amount to transfer of immovable property. Transactions of such a nature cannot be recognized as deeds conferring title except to the limited extent of Section 53A of the Transfer of Property Act, 1882. In the case of Hansia V. Bhaktavarmal, A. 1958 Raj 10 0 to the issue that arose in this case was how far a non-registered document that needed mandatory registration under Section 17 of this Act can be used in the proceeding. The document in question was a mortgage deed that was not registered. It was observed that a suit for recovery based on an unregistered mortgage deed is bound to fall because the purpose of the mortgage deed is to prove the mortgage. The unregistered mortgage deed can only be used for collateral purposes as per Section 49 of the Registration Act. The unregistered deed can only be used by the plaintiff in a suit for possession and not in a suit for redemption to prove the nature of possession. Thus, Section 49 of the Act cannot be used for availing any benefit in a suit for redemption. Collateral purpose connotes a purpose other than that for creating, assigning, declaring, extinguishing or limiting a right to an immovable property, documents requiring compulsory registration under the Registration Act, 1908, can be used for collateral purpose. Conclusion The Registration Act, 1908 was implemented to provide discipline and public notice concerning transactions in relation to immovable property. The Act provides for mandatory registration of certain documents to protect them from any type of fraud. One of the main challenges with the Registration Act 1908 is that it does not provide for the electronic registration of documents. This means that all documents must be physically presented to a registering officer in order to be registered, which can be inconvenient and time-consuming for individuals and businesses. Despite this limitation, the Registration Act 1908 remains an important piece of legislation in Pakistan as it provides a legal framework for the registration of documents and helps to protect the rights of individuals and businesses. As such, it is important for individuals and businesses to understand their rights and obligations under the Act and to ensure that any relevant documents are properly registered. The Registration Act 1908 is a legislation in Pakistan that regulates the registration of documents and other instruments. It applies to the entire country, except for the tribal areas, which are governed by their own legal system. It acts as a valid proof and aids a person in taking a legal action during any dispute. It ensures transparency in deals. It's easier to find out if there's any impediment or ongoing litigation with regard to a property if the document is registered. Registration of documents is mandatory to prevent any property dispute. The necessary documents must be properly registered by following the procedure mentioned under this Act otherwise it may become invalid. It also provides for a proper administration in the court system within a definite time frame. जी डियर फेलोस आज का टॉपिक मुकम्मल हुआ चलते हैं इस वादे के साथ कि इन शाला हमारी अगली वीडियोस में भी आपको मुकम्मल और आसान तरीके से लीगल गाइडेंस प्रोवाइड की जाएगी अपना ख्याल रखिए दाव में याद रखिए पाकिस्तान जिंदाबाद